Alright guys, uh, back again with another uh, video for you guys. I don't know if you guys remember this, uh, these chillers here. Um, I brought up these, uh, these cooked contactors and wires about three months ago. And uh, we finally got an approval to do something about it. If you notice that, that one's going right into the green field. And uh, there's no play in there. You know, these wires are tight. They look exactly cut, exact. Uh, you're probably not going to hear me really well because the other chiller is about to start. I got this one cut off. So I'm going to have to replace all the wires in here, number six, and go into the compressor. It's uh, number eight. But before I do all that, I'm going to check the compressors just to make sure they're alright. I checked them last time, but I didn't use a megometer on it. So I'm probably going to go get my megometer and check it. And then we have one here. Cooked pretty much back to the fuse. Now, uh, if I could find my channel locks over here. I'm going to go ahead and pull these fuses out. I shut it off. Power's dead. These are, I believe, 70 amp fuses. Yeah. They're time delayed. They have to be time delayed. Because, you know, initial startup on the compressor draws all that amperage. There's a little play for the compressor wires, but there's no play for uh, the line voltage coming in. It's a tight fit, boom, right there. It's number six, so. Let's go ahead and uh, take this one off. This one's cooked bad, real bad. I'm pretty sure that these overloads are back. Alright guys, I got my uh, megometer here. And uh, we're going to go ahead first. I'll test at the ground, both of them. So I'm going to put this on. And right now I should get zero reading because I'm grounded totally. Yeah, I'll take it off. I'll do a test. I should get like 250. Right there, I had 238. So we're gonna go. Tight spot. So let's take a look. Sixty-four. That's not bad. Thirty-two on that. It's not so great. So we had sixty, thirty-two, and twenty. Under fifty is uh, is where you're having an issue. Let's go check the other one. We'll grab this with us. Checked our meter, we know we're good. So we have 110, 110, 21. I mean, we're not grounded. That's the. I can check it for ground. Let's go on uh, ohm reading. You see that? That's my own reading there. So let's see if I get an own reading to ground. Nothing. Nothing. Seems okay. 
Seems okay. So go ahead. I'm going to leave it at that. The only thing I could do is uh, replace the contactors and see what happens. My guess is that these things went bad. And uh, it was over amping the compressor. Maybe the strainer was clogged. You know, it was working on high head pressure and, you know. Or maybe the screws were loose and, and just the overload didn't pick it up. It's so hot in here, I'm like dying. It's like 100 degrees in this baby. Not even at 100, but... And the makeup air is not working. Suckers cook. This sucker is cooked. I smell it, it's disgusting. Probably just um, reuse this and not change the compressor ones, but this, I'm gonna have to pull off this whole thing and redo it. some wire I got the contact this and I'll turn you guys back on going to the supply store I don't have any uh, those are uh, 60 amp contactors and I thought I had some but I used it on the last job so I'm gonna go pick up some of those get like three or four keep two on the truck 
Um, and I got to get some number six wire, and I have a little bit of number eight. I got to redo that, uh, the line voltage coming in from the fuse box into the contactor. That's number six. So, uh, going, you know, it's going to the green field. So I got to completely redo that because it's just, they're just cooked. And, uh, the compressors seem to be fine as far as, uh, as far as a uh, ground reading and uh, taking an ohm reading, but I did have a little concern with the megometer. You know, one compressor gave me two, 120 on the uh, two legs, and then uh, shit, I didn't, even, I didn't even open up my mirror. 120 on one, on two, and then he gave me like 30 on one of them. So it seems like that winding is on its way out, and then. Um, the other one is just low, man, on the 30. So, we'll see what happens. We'll let it run and we'll see. You know, I told the, we told the management company that, you know, we're not 100% sure if your compressors are gonna run properly. We can, you know, start with this and see what happens because, really, there's no way of really knowing. You know, I can't tell the guy's compressor is bad and then we change everything. The compressor is good. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta do it step by step. You know, always leave yourself a little room for uh, error. You know, you want to make sure you do a, do a proper job. But anyway, I'm on my way to United. And uh, I'll turn you guys back on once I get what I need. And I lost my beautiful parking spot, which is a shame. Uh, let's go to United. All right, guys, I got the number six wire. Got some contactors. this right here I'm just gonna cut these back instead of running a new new wire I'll cut it back and I'll just connect them there and uh, these three I'll just I'll pull them out and I'll fish new ones in there and this one as well I don't know the state of the other one I'm just gonna run all new wires I mean these kind of look good but I just can't trust it I don't know so, and I'll redo the same here. I'll use those connectors instead of running new wire. And uh, that's it. So I'll start off with this one here. wire and I'm just gonna pull out these guys it's disgusting this wire looks fairly good but uh, I'll just change it I have the wire I'll just change it so Guys, replace the wire. I gotta change the wires in the contactors. I gotta put it in there. Got the contactor top. I left a little room just in case it ever happens again. Uh, a brand new wire there. Instead of taking all this off, running new wire there, it's kind of complicated to get in there. I just put these little lugs. It's not pretty, but it's gonna work. I have to, you know, it's time is money here, and I can't waste the time. They want me to finish all this, and I got a lot of stuff. Uh, so just uh, use these uh, these guys right here, and I wrapped it around with this insulation. So now I'm going to replace this contactor. You can see right here this wire. You can see that? It's a little bad. So where the hell is my drill?
is contact them.